So, this is how it ends. Me with a ring in my nose and no way out of this mess. Well, at least the spell can't get any worse. Serena, you're not gonna believe this. I have magical powers. Watch. The phrase spiraling out of control comes to mind. Oh, don't worry. I promise to use them responsibly. I never do anything frivolous with them. What are you looking at? Freaks? Well, <laughs> most of the time. Uh-oh, Valerie, it looks like you don't quite have a handle on that magic of yours. We better go somewhere safe and figure out what to do. You're not gonna turn me over to a bunch of scientists or try to sell me to the government, are you? Oh, of course not. It's not right off the bat, anyway. Okay, stay here and lay off the magic tricks and I'll go figure out what to do. Look, I've been thinking about it, and it's gonna be so weird, Sabrina. I'm gonna have to hide my magical powers and make up all sorts of excuses for the rest of my life. You have no idea what kind of stress I'm gonna be under. Right. I have no idea. <laughs> have you guys got a minute? Oh, look, Hilda. Sabrina's going through that charming, to assert my independence, I'm making myself as ugly as possible phase. I'll explain later. Listen, I may have gotten in a small problem with charitable magic. You did? Didn't you read the advisory by the Witches' Council in my magazine? It couldn't have been more explicit. I blame the school system. My retention's not what it should be. <laughs> so now Valerie's a witch. Not a particularly good one, but still. All right, Sabrina. Here's what you have to do to reverse the spell. First, change your clothes. There's no reason to make the situation sadder than it is. <laughs> oh, then you've got to take Valerie home and somehow convince Mr. and Mrs. Burkhead to say, in these precise words, we're happy Valerie changed. Got it? Well, why do I want them to say that? I want them to be not happy that Valerie has changed. We know it's ironic. We know it's illogical. But believe it or not, we know more about these things than you do. <laughs> hey, it shouldn't be very hard. Mr. and Mrs. Burke had her thrilled with the new Valerie. <sighs> what happened? You guys were so upbeat before. Remember that bridge I was telling you about? It's still standing. 20 feet below sea level. I just got fired for recommending a heart patient loosen up and try lard. Well, what about Warren? I mean, you seem happy. I found out the hard way. Electrical sockets are not toys. Yes, me, our trouble started about the time Valerie changed. Oh, but you're glad she changed, right? Not at all. We missed the old Valerie. But you didn't realize how much you missed her until she changed, so you're really glad she changed. No. I see. Okay, well, I know what to liven things up. Let's play charades. Now? I'll go first. Uh, it's not the name of a book or a movie or anything. It's just a particular phrase, okay? Uh, small. Tiny. Uh, we. Yes, okay. We, next word. Oh, well, I've got it. Happy. Okay, we're happy. Valerie? Okay, we're happy Valerie. We're almost done. Mom, Dad, I can't keep it a secret any longer. I've got magical powers. Watch. <laughs> Valerie, you changed Warren into a dingo. Changed, you said changed. You said, we're happy Valerie changed. But did I just see what I thought I saw? Of course not, it's that crackpot diet of yours. You eat enough pastrami and bear claws, you're gonna start seeing things. What, what happened? How did I get here? You seem to believe you had magical powers, dear. You tried to change Warren into a dingo. I did? I'm such a loser. Oh, our baby. She's back. 